Welcome back, folks. The official call, Fabian from Keith. Fabian from Keith. So four to two off that goal by Fabian. XUO would like to get another one, and ideally one after that to tie it. But we'll see what happens. Luke Taylor with the shot, saved by John Robbs. Another shot attempt, but not enough on it there. Poked by Luke, but Wendy is able to dump it deep. Luke Taylor will be the first one back for the puck, though. Played up by Tom Van Heeren into the neutral zone. Played along the boards. And Keith Ingram trying to keep it in his zone, unsuccessful in that attempt. Cassie will play it up to Keith. And play will continue. Fabian up to Keith again, but Keith was not able to stop the puck, so it will go deep. Keith Ingram with the shot, but it does not go in the back of the net. No icing here, play continues. JP trying to get the puck. <laughs> Wendy trying to get it to her, one of her teammates. It goes to JP eventually. Some physicality there, there's gonna be a penalty. And Joe for the hold is the call, so. Not Joe Sarko, Joe, Bearded Joe right there. I don't know his last name, so he's gonna be Bearded Joe. So that will give Red Zelvet, who is already up by two goals, a chance for another one on the power play. Face off, won by Keith Ingram, but Chris Thorpe was there to retrieve it. He will battle for it now. He wins that battle, centering pass to Matt. Matt gets it to Wendy, but Wendy cannot get it back to Chris, so Keith Ingram will advance the puck. Went off his shoulder over his head. Luke tries to dump it deep. I don't know where the puck is, there it is. Joe Sharko backing up for the puck. Turnover to Chris Thorpe, but good job by Luke in getting his stick down for it. Intercepted by Sean. Tic-tac-toe passing. Back to Matt. It trickles to Joe. Joe will choose to cover it up so that Matty G does not have a play on it. Penalty expires at 5.12, so about a minute, 10 seconds left on Red Zelvis power play. Shot attempt wide of the net. Luke Taylor has it. He will clear it all the way out of the zone. Keith Ingram is rushing after it. He's being aggressive here, as he should be down by two goals. Keith special here. Trickles it to Joe, or to Joe, rather. I thought he was going to take a shot, as he usually does, but I will do so. Shot saved there by Joe Sharko. A lot of Joes in this matchup, I, I just realized. Played out to Mike Yell. Mike plays it up. He's got a play on it. He's got a shot attempt. But I believe John Ross made the save there. I couldn't tell if it went live or if John made the save. I believe John made the save there. He usually does. Russ calling for the puck to be moved. It is finally dislodged from the boards. Who Taylor has it. He's battling with Chris Thorpe, using his body there. A little bit of physicality is allowed in the X Division, folks. And that's what you saw there. Mike with another shot attempt, but it does not get past Brett. And John Roms falling on it there. Choosing for time to be killed and choosing to deny Mike Yell an opportunity. Mike to Fabian. Fabian trying to move around Brett, but Brett, good job sticking his stick out there and denying Fabian a shot or a pass opportunity. Gonna go all the way back in the zone where Luke will have to retrieve it. Kept in by JP, JP up to Sean. Sean with the shot, it's deflected high into the sky. Matty G has the puck, he will give it to a wide open JP. 
JP with a shot saved by Joe. Played out by Luke, but it went all the way to Sean. Sean's first shot is blocked. His second shot is saved by Joe. Third shot is blocked by Luke. Sean with several key opportunities. And another one there. Four shots in a row for Sean. But they were either all blocked or saved by Joe. Two blocks, two saved by Joe. By my highly unofficial count. Sean tried to get another shot off, could not do so. It was stopped in traffic. Fabian has it now. X you up, trying to get back in. And oh! Fabian tried to make a move around Sean, but Sean's foot got in the way of it. JP with a chance, shot and a save by Joe, who denies JP another goal in this contest. He's got two by my count. If he had the first one of the game, then he's got a hat trick, but I'm not sure who had the first of the game, as I mentioned earlier. One by Red Zelvet, but Keith Ingram is able to play the puck off his chest. Shot saved by John. I was about to say Sean, but it's, it's not Sean. It's John. He's able to cover it up and force the face off at his glove side. <laughs> Three minutes and counting in this second half, ladies and gentlemen. Four to two is the score. Red Zelvet is up. Shot by Bearded Joe, it goes into the corner. Tom Van Heeren's attempted play was poked aside by John Romps. It's in the other corner now. Chris Thorpe and Fabian vying for control of the puck. Trickles behind the net where Keith Ingram has it. He's gonna try, is he gonna try a shot? He does, but it's blocked by Ben Ryder. Ben will play it up into the neutral zone. Pass went behind his teammate. Wendy is able to dump it in though. But right to Fabian. Fabian tries to play it up, does not get enough on it. It went right, right, it went right to Wendy. Ugh. Wendy's able to keep it in, but only for a moment. Cassidy's able to get it out now. Fabian with a play on it. Fred Zelvet saying that Fabian had closed his hand on the puck. The ref's letting it go. That was a close call, almost a delay a game. But the rest ruling that Fabian played it in a quick enough time span to where it wasn't delay a game. Fabian with the puck again, 140 and counting. Tom Van Heeren with a shot that is wide of the net, but it's stopped by John Rams who chooses to cover it up. And XUO will take a timeout now with 130 or so left in the period. Clock is continuing to run, but it shouldn't do so. John Romps uh, telling Suds that Fabian took three steps with the uh, with the puck in his hand, and that it should have been a delay game penalty. Exu up having a conference now. Rizelva doing the same. Both teams discussing the strategies for this period and what they expect on the next Game of Thrones episode tonight. Should be a good one. Keith Ingram now to take the face off. Chris Thorpe to do the same. Keith is getting his troops together, aligned in the proper configuration. They have pulled Joe Sharko from the net. So there are six players out on the floor for XU up. And an empty net. Oh, shot off the faceoff from Keith. John Rouse is able to make the save. Kept in by Cassidy. Good work by her, by her but it is quickly out of the zone. Fabian with the long shot attempt that is blocked aside. Tom Van Heeren's able to keep it in, but only for a moment. Goes out of the zone quickly. Lou Taylor has to hurry up here. A minute eight left in the game. And XU up is still down by two goals. Goes to Fabian. Fabian is able to kick in. He loses a stick. Luke to Cassidy. But Zelva clearing it out. Oh, just wide of the net, and that's going to go for icing. Clock will continue to roll because it is a two-goal game. 
So there's going to be an icing penalty here. Flack is continuing to roll. X you up yelling for the faceoff to take a little quicker. I have to agree with him in this situation. I know there's a penalty, but they're hurting for time right now. 15 seconds left. <laughs> it happens though. The referees do a good job, folks. And that's a, a rare situation. Offside, Luke chooses to take a shot, but that'll be an offside shot and that'll be the game, folks. So X you up. Upset by Red Zelvet. Four to two in this contest, ladies and gentlemen. The victorious team there shaking hands with their out with their outstanding netminder, John Rounce. Joe Sharko also very solid in net, but too many turnovers and too many breakaways led to their downfall today. That'll do it for this broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Jason Stitcher. Thank you for joining me. The next X game will be taped, plus five to Dex versus Box Schoonbags. And that game will be called by John Romps as soon as he gets out of his gold goalie gear. And, uh, yeah, just an A-Rod. Just an A-Rod, John Romps calling the next game. I am playing the next game out of four for that team, the blue team right there. Thank you for joining me, folks. Have a good one.